Hello everyone and welcome to episode 60, yeah, <laughs> of the 10 minute modeling challenge. If you've ever wondered what the premiere is like during a 10 minute modeling challenge in the Infensia household, I'll show you a little clip here from episode 55 when I was having a premiere. Personally, I was sitting in this chair here and upstairs, two of my kids, my two daughters, were sitting in front of the TV eagerly awaiting the premiere. So just have a look at this excitement. So now you know what it's like. My kids are super excited every time I have a premiere. I always pictured that they were sitting up there popping some popcorn, getting ready to see uh, their dad performing uh, some of the uh, the stuff that he does every Thursday when he locks himself in the basement, like Fritzl would have. Not like Fritzl. Keep the light off. Select. Select. <laughs> okay, and I keep going on about this, but in the Infensia Discord server, we've got a February challenge going on, and it's transportation. And I thought, I'm going to stick to that theme, but I'm still going to break it slightly because uh, I'm just not going to do any transport today. I'm going to do a space shuttle. And I don't think that necessarily would qualify in our city blocks because nobody really built a launch pad. So I guess it doesn't really qualify. I'm going to make a space shuttle. I can break the rules because I made part of them. <laughs> oh, I nearly forgot. I've got a little bit more news. And before we get started next week, just a little heads up there. I'm going to be uh, showing a little sneak preview of the game that we've been making for the past two years, me and my colleague Christian. So we're creating this multiplayer RTS game and uh, I'm going to share some footage because we're heading towards a Kickstarter and early access later on this year. Stay tuned on that one. All right, here we go. I've been talking long enough as usual. So let's get started. Ready, steady. Oh, the excitement. Ready, steady, go. Oh, I was in edit mode. Can't be in edit mode. That's cheating. Ready, steady, go. And we're off. Yes, tab into edit mode. A to select everything. Let's make uh, a space shuttle. Probably not Challenger. We know how that went. We want to get off the launch pad. Actually, it did actually get off the launch pad. It just didn't get up into space. Um, let's move it up to there. Control R, loop cut. Control R, loop cut. C to circle, select those and these. And I've got the loop tools that on. So let's make sure I've got that on there. Yeah, let's click on circle. Cheat ourselves into a cylinder here. A, select everything. Scale, shift Z to scale on everything apart from that one. Maybe like this we should do. Control R, loop cut maybe here. And it's going to have the red tank. I know Challenger had that, but I think quite a few of them did as well. I actually like that one. Breaks up the color scheme a little bit from the black and white. S to scale and Control R. And here we go. This is nearly done now, the main tank. So we're low poly. That's our style, so that's what we've got time for in this 10 minutes. So nine minutes to go. L to select everything. Let's just copy this one. Shift D, G to move this one. Scale, Shift Z again, and then just cheat a little bit here. Scale, Z. Oh no, we can keep the same length maybe. We'll just put them here on the side. There we go. But what I do want to do is scale Z a little bit too pointy. Alt Z again, see through off. L, select link, G, make it white here we go white all right and uh, maybe we'll do uh it's got of course it has some like it's a rocket after all booster rockets here so control r scale ooh, scale that on oh i can't control r again i need to do this i think it's got like a, a double uh, shape here at the bottom for some flary stuff control r scale that one in scale oh again i did it maybe like this i can't spend too much time here yes okay uh eight minutes so that's enough time spent on this one apart from i'm gonna do some black stripes here it's not racing stripes this time it's just black stripes here for some detail so alt select on the little edge there and with a shift selected and g move it to black that should do and now oh we have to do auto mirror so here we go, symmetry. That's what we like. 736, so I'm gonna take maybe this one now and let's start making the actual shuttle. Shift D, 
not the shittle, like I say sometimes, or especially I type it sometimes. I don't think that's a swear. Scale Z. Actually, I'm going to keep it about the same length because we're going to bring it down here. Okay. Scale Y. Here's a little trick. Zero. That flattens those. And then bring it to white. E to extrude. It's a low poly spatial here. Okay. And control R. Let's get this little nose thing. Let's get a nose job here. Control R. Scale. And move that one in. Okay. Unfortunately, I don't exactly know what it looks like here. <laughs> but I know it's uh, got a few more polygons than this, but that's okay. Control select to here and bring this up. Maybe bring this one down and this one too. And I to inset B for the boundary thing and G to make a black window. And I'm going to stick to the low poly 624. So I'm going to put some the wings here, I guess. So. Uh, maybe we'll put, I can't remember if it's got like a black nose cone. Let's put that on. There we go. And now we need to do the wings. Control R to there. And Control R will start the wings pretty much from here, I think. So, one to see the side of front view. E to extrude. S and sh just Z actually. I'm going to scale it on the Z axis only. And I know it doesn't flare out like this, so I'm going to have to move this in and down. And here, E to extrude, S to scale, and G to move, S to scale, R to rotate. Unfortunately, I can't really remember exactly the shape of these. So I'm going to have to wing it. <laughs> Actually, that came just the way it did. That was not... I'm not even going to say it was planned, because it wasn't that much fun of a joke but I'm quite happy that it actually worked out pretty good so I winged it sad I have to come up with some better jokes I think okay that should do that's the wings done and control R here I know it's got to have to disable clip in now because I'm going to do all the extra long face normals and remember we're doing low poly now so you can put in the comments that this is not so aerodynamic, but clipping off S to scale that one down. Oh no, that's no good. Okay, what should we do here? I'll have to think of something. Okay, I'm going to have to live with that. It's got a bit of a tapered uh, thing going in there, but it's okay. How am I doing? 427. Bring that in, maybe. Okay, can't spend too much time here. And uh, I think it's got uh, black ed leading edges here on this wing. And all the... Let's do L, L, H to hide it. C to circle select. Because this is... Uh, that was uh, the other one. What was that? Discovery or something that burnt up on entry? Because these shield things were broken. We're not going to have broken shields on this one. So, control select to here, to here, and black. And then this leading edge. I'm going to do that. Okay, I'm breaking the topology now, but that's okay. I'm not going to do subdivision on this, even though that would have probably looked pretty cool. So control select to here, control select to here, and then just make that black as well, just to get the leading edges. And then this black as well, maybe. Okay, and we need those. Oh, alt H. We need to unhide this. And how am I doing? 325. Okay, I'm going to do... We need to have some rocket flames coming out of here at some point. So I'm going to just scale those down, make it black on the inside. But I'm going to keep them white. I think they were white on the outside. Uh, and then we're going to borrow this now. Uh, 307. So I'm going to press... Select the center here. Control plus to grow that selection. See what it turns into. And shift D to duplicate it. Move it to here. Scale, scale on the Z axis only. And then here, I think I need to extrude this. So E to extrude, S to scale, just like the shirt says. And then F to cap this one, because I'm gonna, just gonna keep it like this. A scale zero, make that one pretty black. G, and it's got three of these, I think. 
They have a bit of an angle as well, I think. But I don't know in which direction. I think it was this direction. <laughs> so Shift D, duplicate that one. And this one is going to be simple. So I'm going to have to... Oh, no, we have to have clipping. Top view, how am I doing? 215. Now I'm going to move this into the center roughly there. Did I miss that one? There we go. If you're wondering what's uh, making a sound in the background, it's the washing machine this time. Okay, that should do it. Oh, we need a fin as well. So, Shift D, duplicate that one. Remember this little check. Scale Y, zero. Bring it in. Scale Z. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it back home. That's what we want to do with the shuttles. And it's down here in the center. And then we do our usual E to extrude, S to scale, and move it down. I have no idea what color it has or anything. 128, what am I going to do with the extra time here? I'm a bit uh, baffled that I've got time to spare. Maybe I can just uh, work a little bit on the shape here. We've got that going. We can do a little, uh, maybe a fin here. K, and then Z, I think, is it? Z to cut all the way through. I think so. Okay, make that black maybe. Some accent here we can do as well, maybe. Select all the way around to here. I don't know where the little fin things or the steering things are. We call steering things, probably not. This now. Oh yeah, here I'm. Uh, I'm getting beat up for my own topology here. 38 seconds to go. Have I missed something? I should check first to make sure I haven't missed anything. No. Okay, let's just do that slightly gray instead. G. I'm chickening out here. Control R. Let's do a whole bunch of these. Scale Z. Move these down. Get some cool rings feature here. That's another thing that can break on these things. There we go. And Control R. Six seconds. I think that's it. Dismiss. There we go. We got ourselves a little low poly space shuttle. It's a vehicle. It's a transport vehicle. It won't really fit in the city, but that's okay. Maybe we can. And it's not to scale. Darn it. I broke my own rule. If I was going to make a vehicle, I didn't make a make it to scale. This should have been a little bit uh, probably higher as well, so they can actually see out of this window. I could have probably done this. Should have probably done it a little fatter like this. Possibly. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. I haven't really done any tips and tricks yet lately, and uh, I keep saying this, but it's because I pretty much do the same thing all the time. I E to extruding, S to scaling, I do the odd inset, and I do the odd, hmm, I don't know, G to move, R to rotate, so it's not really that much to say. One tiny little trick this time around could be just the fact that if you're using this method that I use a lot to duplicate faces to create something else, like this fin here, I did Shift D to duplicate it, moved it in, and here's the trick now. It's nothing fancy. Sorry about this. You're going to know this already, but S to scale, press Y for the lock it to the Y axis and press zero. And that flattens this face now all the way to the side like this. So that's pretty handy if you want to extrude it and you want to make sure that it goes straight out like this. Because if I didn't flatten it and extruded it, it'll go all uh, wonky and flat like that. So we don't really want that. Probably one of the lamest of all tips, but maybe, just maybe, you found a little bit use out of that one. I promised last week that episode 60 was going to be a little bit special, but I'm going to keep you on the fence a little bit longer because today was my son's birthday when I recorded this. Decided to spend a lot more time with the family and it's quite light now. So I'm going to save that little special episode for maybe episode 70, 75, 80, 100, I don't know. They're ticking by so fast. I'm sure we'll be uh, having a big celebration at some point. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the like button if you like this video. And I'm going to see you in the next video. So take care until then. Bye for now.